Hi, Hiram here. If you've watched my videos, you know I've done quite a few of them using Sterno for uh, different cooking and heating type things. I think more heating than cooking. Um, it's kind of a handy fuel if you like it. I mean, it's got some good points to it. It's not a real hot burning fuel. Um, it doesn't spill easily. It travels well. But other than that, you know, it's kind of expensive. I've had a lot of people pointing out to me that it's very expensive lately. If you go to the store, I just checked out my local grocery store the other day. A toucan pack like this costs six nine. Excuse me, six ninety nine for the two of them. That's two seven ounce cans. So that comes out to about three dollars and fifty cents per can. Two of the smaller two point six ounce cans cost five twenty nine. Now the prices could vary from where you are, but that's what they are around where I live. Now I have this old can of Sterno, really old, no date on it or anything, but the price on it looks like it was 19 cents. So I guess it's really changed since, you know, since who knows when. Um, I've had a number of people asking me, they've seen where you can make your own Sterno. I shouldn't say Sterno, that's a brand name, but you can make your own gelled alcohol fuel. This is true. Personally, I think just using a, uh, like say one of the old cans, put perlite in it, and just dump your methanol or alcohol in this and burn it works out pretty good. But I have had a number of people asking me if I would explain how to make your own gelled fuel. To, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a sore throat or something here. To make your own fuel, you need two basic things. Alcohol, in this case it could be either uh, ethanol, methanol, or isopropyl. I think the denatured alcohol, like what you get at the hardware store, seems to work about the best. But methanol that I use is really, really cheap. The other thing you'd need is a chemical called calcium acetate. It's a white powder. You can get this on uh, eBay, uh, chemical supply places, stuff like that. It's not really expensive, but it does cost you a little bit. I know you can make this calcium acetate yourself if you use anti-acid uh, anti tablets. The main ingredient in these things is calcium carbonate. In this case, each one of these tablets has a thousand milligrams. So you can make yourself calcium acetate by grinding these up and mixing it with white vinegar. But I mean, it's kind of a cool little thing. But uh, to make any amount of gel fuel, it's really kind of a pain. So I'll leave the recipe or menu down below. But basically, what I do is I take the calcium acetate and mix it with warm water. Usually about like a quarter cup of the calcium acetate to a half a cup of warm or relatively hot water. What you want to do is make a really nice super saturated solution. Then you get yourself, I'm going to make a small batch here, but the ratios would all be the same if you wanted to make it for a larger batch. I have a quarter cup of methanol here. Just pour that into some sort of a dish to use. And in this case, it will be a tablespoon of the solution. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I know you might be saying to yourself, but Hiram, why don't you just take the calcium acetate and mix it right into the alcohol? Why are you mixing it in water? Well, the thing is, calcium acetate won't dissolve in alcohol. It will dissolve in water, but it won't dissolve in alcohol. So what you end up having to do is take the calcium acetate and make a solution out of it. Then when you mix the two together, the alcohol will take the components out of the solution that it needs and gel the fuel. So that was a quarter cup of methanol. I'm going to add a uh, tablespoon of the solution 
Now you don't have to be real, real fanatically accurate with the mixing here. Now I can see it's gelling a little bit, but this could take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do here, well first what, let me, this is some stuff that I made a couple of weeks ago. This is also known as a flaming snowball, if you've ever seen it in chemical class, in your chemistry class. Teachers like to show this off. This is what this came out with using uh, denatured alcohol. Kind of looks like a melted snowball. Uh, this is, this is what, yep, so this is, yeah, this is about a week old that I've made this, and it's still, still sort of, yeah, still just soft and jelly-like. I don't know if you can see with this, but see how it's turning kind of milky? Yeah, it's solidifying. There, can you see that? So it is solidifying. Now, you have to kind of play around with your solutions here. Because depending on what your calcium acetate is like and what your alcohol is like, the denatured, the denatured alcohol seemed to work better, but I like using the methanol if I have to do this. So I'm going to cut here, let this set for a couple minutes, and then we'll be back to see what this burns like. Okay, this has been about five minutes. Hopefully you can see. It really looks kind of like slushy snow, like what you might find under your tires. If this was in a chemistry class, the teacher would probably squish out the extra liquid so that you'd just have a dry snowball and play around with that. But this is mostly alcohol. There's not enough of the calcium acetate to turn all of the alcohol into a solid or a gel. So there's still some left there. But let me just put some on a dish. Oops, try to keep it all in the dish. And again, I hope you can see in this light that it just looks like slushy snow. Now the other stuff that's a week old is a little more white. I haven't tested this, but it should still be uh, quite burnable. Again, this was made with denatured alcohol. You can see that this is a little slushy, and this is white like snow. Okay, so let's turn down the lights, and let's light this. goes that and I think you can see it's burning nice and blue nice flames there oh that's gonna make it hot in here there goes the temperature oh, it's the temperatures going up as I stand here yep that's hot so there we have a gelled fuel that you can make I don't know if you'll be able to I gotta get a better camera as this is burning, it's leaving white material behind. But uh, it's really blowing out here now. I mean, it's really burning. I'm not sure what the time would be like this compared to, let's say, Sterno, but it's a gelled fuel. So I hope that helps those that ask me about this. How do you make your own gelled fuel? Basically, it's just two components again calcium acetate that you can buy on eBay in a number of places and some form of alcohol. I've been told you can do it with isopropyl alcohol too but I've never tried that. Again I'll leave a recipe down below. Uh, when you have your solution and your alcohol basically it's a parts type ratio. Uh, one part of dissolved calcium acetate, one part of this to four parts of alcohol and then you get your, again, it depends on what your solution is like, how saturated it is, but you'll get this gel. Again, so I think, I hope that helps those that ask for this. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max.
Bye now.